what to call? Tails. Tails the call. It is tails. Okay. Yeah. No tails. surprises Not there. Tail? It's tails. Your tail is coming out. <laughs> Good luck, guys. Good luck. Good luck, guys. So it is Sherry Butt of Antwerp that wins the toss and Lex to bat. Again. But we're ready to go away. It will be Khalil here in match 16 and we're going to start with a wide down the leg side. He's yet to get a legal delivery under his belt here in match number 16. He will do so, but he won't really like it. It's an opportunity. No, it's all the way. It's gone into the trees behind the banner. And what a way to get off the mark for Niaz. This time opens the thing out with a booming boundary. Six runs into the leg side. And again into the leg side, but this is going to sail over the head of the man at mid-wicket. That's Faisal Mahmood. He just watches that sail over the infield, and it's going to be back-to-back -back boundaries. This time into the offside, and he's gone. So it will be a duck for Jabber Kal. It won't be golden, but it might as well be. He's, he's unable to get anything on the score. Doesn't trouble the scorers. He has to go. First wicket falls a little bit earlier than last time. Antwerp. 12 for 1. And this is early into the leg side. And this will be one bounce for. Anyway, this is lofted over the infield. This will be another boundary. Well, this has gone a long, long way. And that's going to be another boundary. Siddiqui unable to get underneath and really get into Niaz. Niaz, he says, it's my turn again. And this goes a long way. Six more. Well, that's going to go a long, long way. That's into the shrubbery. It's a no ball as well. So it's not the start that Khan would have wanted. This is going to be a big, big six into the leg side. And he's gone for this one, and it will have the distance. So it's back-to-back -back sixes here for Antwerp, and it's off the bat of Sherry Butt. And this goes a long, long way. Six more. And that's not what he would have wanted. This is flicked. Into the leg side. It's a crowd catch. And it's again another huge bomb onto that leg side. Again, Sherry Butt this time. Six more. All right. This one's going and it's going places. Maximo. Here's the next one. It's cut and it's going to be four more. Sherry Butt. Cuts back and cuts through the field up. And he gets a bit of it, but he doesn't get enough to stop it. And so Sherry Butt moves into the 40s. Cut away. And it's going to be four. This time, no fielder near it. <laughs> Don't spill ice cream on it. Well, this, is, this really should be out, and it will be. So Niaz just doesn't quite get this one right. I think he does. It's more skews than anything off the edge of the bat. Well, look at the outside half of the bat, I suppose, here. You see, he's almost trying to hit that leg side. Doesn't really know where he's trying to hit it, I think, in the end. But it is safely taken down there by Farah's card. Ooh. Goes aerial, and that's gone. Yeah, gets it slightly wrong. Tempted Yorker, I think, but doesn't work out too well for the bowler. You can see that's Ulla Khalil. Gets banged out of the ground. And, well, if I'm not mistaken, that brings up Sherry Butts 50. In fact, it does. And how about this, this speed he's going at the moment? Only 15 balls to get there with five sixes and four fours. Well, this one's smacked away, and that's another one lost to the trees. Well, I'm nervous again. These box of balls. It's not like the kind of mythical one that keeps replenishing itself. We will run out at some point. That's going to be six maximo. Why does everyone know what this is except me? Well, this is four. Phil doesn't know too much about this. Tasuwa will get a boundary. Yeah. In the air. And it's going. It's going. It's gone. Maximo. Yeah, this one seems in a long way, but it's going to be four. Well, smacked, and somebody go fetch that Maximo. Anyway, over to you, Sherry, and he cracks this one. Bit of an inside-out slice, and I think this one's probably gone for four. Well, you get four here. Not convincing, it keeps him in the game, doesn't it? Meanwhile, this score's climbing. It's up to 136 now. All right. I'm charging this. Oh, no. Well, this is... <laughs> well... They'll get one here. No ball's caught. Now they want to take two, and they can't decide. And Well, it's probably... Whoa! Oh, hello! No. This hasn't hit the... This has hit the base, and it hasn't knocked the bales off. Oh, this is a disaster. <laughs> <laughs> All right, last ball free hit. 
hit hard, and this will be four to finish. So Sherry Butt will finish 89 off 31. And, well, count them up. Let me get out my abacus because this is out of control. Well, I make it 145 for two off the 10 overs. A very warm welcome back to sunny Mechelen here in Belgium for the final innings of day number four. And he finds the inside edge. And it'll just be a single to get us off the mark. Anyway, Kankel continuing. It's a long day, but this is going to be even longer. What a way to get off the mark. Roman, I think he's just going to try and tee off here. And he gets off the mark with a beautiful six runs into the leg side. Kankel needs a response. And what a response that is. Abdul Rahman looking to go off straight from the first delivery. And, well, what a response goes. Six and out. First wicket goes. Austin CC seven for one. Wow, what a shot that is. That will certainly relieve a bit of pressure. He gets off the mark. Astounding into the offside. Almost clatters into the camera. Wow, this is smashed. And it's going to sail high and handsome out of the ground. Maximo. Well, this one, no problem at all. He's going to go four runs this time. Uh, well, you can see why. This one's going to sail. Seis Carreras. Vale, vale, vale. Not only that. Well, how about this? This is another one that's going to sail out of the ground. He goes... The other side now goes the other way. Rahimi now, well, he's passed his best score in the series. Comfortably, he's done it in six balls. He's up to 28 and looking dangerous. Austin CC have recovered to 37 for one after two. Bit before your time. This one might be hit to another time zone because that is out of the ground as well. Oh, he's gone now. And so Rahimi, well, he swings one time too many. He just went walk about there and, well... I mean, the line between aggression and insanity is not often clearly demarcated. But this one seems back, and it's just a walking waft from Omid, who has to go for 34. Flies on now. It's a short ball, and this is going to be four around the corner. <laughs> anyway, this one's going out of here, and it's going a long, long way. Well, Ken, that one's yours. Maximo. What a shot. Faisal's woken up, and he's gone four, then six. So Cal gets hit straight, and this is going, going, gone out of the ground. Trust Sheik gets his first Maximo. <laughs> oh, this one's gone. He somehow maneuvered this under his stumps, and Zakel breaks through with his left arm spin. This will be interesting to see what this hits. I felt it was an inside edge, and then maybe caught some of the leg on the way through. Yeah, it was. It was an inside edge down onto the back leg and rolling back onto the stump. So a bit of an unlucky one, really. But Mahmood played some nice shots, but he's going to have to go as the third wicket. 70 for three. So free hit coming up, and it's launched. And this one is going to be salt into the wound. Well, that one's into the forest. Laughing it up. Gone. And this is a nice catch behind as well. One keeper catches another. And I've got to say, Tassawa has impress, impressed me with his work behind there. It's a big outside edge. So Shafkat can't move the needle. He's gone for just two. And four wickets down now, 82 for four. Okay, back to Kankel. And he gets blasted. And this one is travelling. Oh, Ken, watch out. That's yours, I think. No, it's Samir's. As, uh, just goes past the scoring tent. Well, he knew what he was doing. He was protecting his equipment. Maximo! <laughs> Yes, in the air. Don't think this is carrying Sherry Butt. Well, we saw him do the spectacular this time. It's a more regulation chance. And Shiraz Sheik, the last great hope. He falls for 32. The fifth wicket to fall. 101 for five. And this is in the air. And, well, Burhard, he does very well to, to stop this initially. But you see it clunks off his hands. I think this is probably six. But we'll have a look at it on the replay. Yeah, Bounces I think that's... near the line. And, yeah. yeah, just over. Yeah. So, this will be a 6-2 to, to the batting team. Now, this is going to be four to start. All right, in the air. And how far is this going? Yeah, four more. 
Uh, this is edged and caught behind. It'll give us more time to break some rules. Sadiq will go for 18. He's saying, what's going on? He probably hits the ground here, but he definitely nicks it. I mean, it's a huge outside edge. Sometimes you don't feel it hit the ground as well. It's a but big wood sound. Yeah, it's it's massive. And you can see the deflection as well. So Sadiqi may be the last wicket of the day. We'll have to see. He goes for 18. The score, 118 for six. Yeah, a fairly decent swipe. That's out as well. Well, guess what? We might finish the day with a hat trick. Cars, it's going to be far as Car comes, goes. And so, yeah, Shazad will get a second wicket. Hat trick ball for Shazad. Last ball of the day. And he gets banged sideways. That'll be one. So, oh, not a bad innings. In fact, I don't even know if they run there in the end. So, it'll be a dot, I believe. So, it'll be 118 they'll finish on. And, well, what can you say about Antwerp? They're just getting better and better as this... Tournament goes on. Sherry, but what a day for him. 89 not out with the bat, following on from a rare failure. And he also took one of the catches, if not the catch of the season as well. Had lots of moving parts to it. But Antwerp, and they've really sent a message to the competition that they're a force here in Belgium in a very strong competition. And they are the winners of matches 15 and 16 